Hey, it's FPS here. Welcome back. Today, we're going to be covering Apex Legends best settings for this season. So we're going to go over everything that you need to do in your Windows desktop to make your game the priority and make the background apps turn off while you're playing. And then additionally, we'll go into, of course, the in-game settings and talk about what is best for every type of PC. And of course, what's best for the frames while also having the best visibility. So we're going to do that all in today's video. If you enjoy this video or if it helps you at all, like the video, subscribe to the channel and let's get into it. So the first few things we're going to do is just to prioritize Apex Legends and make sure the background apps aren't taken away from your game experience and frame rate. So you're going to want to go down here and just type in graphics settings. This should pop up and you just need to click on graphics settings and you'll be prompted to this screen. You need to hit browse and find your game file. Once you find the application, double click on it and it should pop up right here. We need to go options and then make this high performance. Once you have this on high performance, this is going to prioritize it over everything else. So if you have anything running in the background, it is going to be put behind Apex Legends for the priority screen. Next up, go down here and type in background. Background app should pop up. And once again, we just want to have this off. So all of these Microsoft background apps do get disabled while you're playing a game. So everything from camera to calculator Cortana will all turn off while you're playing your game. So I would highly recommend you turn this off as well. As for other things, you can come over here in power and sleep settings. And this is an easy thing you could do. Hit over here. You'll see additional power settings. Click on this and turn this to high performance. As the name states, this favors high performance and will potentially use more energy. However, it's going to help out your frame rates by a few. Not much, but it should help out at least a little bit. And finally, we're going into game mode settings. This is a thing that I would keep on if you're on a NVIDIA computer, but some AMD computers, be wary, this might actually introduce stuttering. If you have stuttering on AMD or NVIDIA, first thing you should try is turning off game mode. Sometimes the game mode is not very well optimized for your PC, so just avoid it in general. NVIDIA cards, I've noticed from my experience and from my testing that they usually do better with game mode on and gain approximately from 0.5 frames to two frames on average, which is not enough to be very substantial, but it's still a few frames here and there. So now let's head into the Apex Legends setting screen for this season nine here. Season nine just came out. Not much has changed if you already are optimized here, but we are going to go over the gameplay settings just first and foremost. And I'm going to switch these as we go. So don't save this one because we're going to change some things here. This is just a preset at a restore defaults. So interact prompt style. I like this on default. This is just personal preference from competitive play and testing on this game. Button hints. This is okay to have on. If you want to declutter your screen though, turn this off. Crosshair damage feedback. Have this off. Crosshair damage feedback. I like to have this off. Damage numbers. We could have this on stacking, which is just the default and it looks really good. And then ping opacity. You could have this on faded and this is going to dull down how bright pings are which is always a good thing show obituaries on minimap rotation i like to have this off an advantage of this is north and south are always on your north and south if you have it rotating you'll never know really where you are in accordance to the map so just have this be one thing is always very helpful weapon auto cycle this is something that annoys me i have it off but if you want your gun to automatically switch when you're out of ammo you can go ahead and do that auto sprint off double tap sprint off and then jetpack control you could have this on hold if you would like I find it more convenient to have it on hold, but you can also try toggling if you like that more but hold is a little bit more convenient for most people. Incoming damage feedback. I like this as 3D. This is all visual things. These aren't affecting your frames yet. I'm just giving you all of my settings. These aren't affecting your frames any though, so don't worry about it. As for everything else here, I really keep everything on default. Now this one is the one that you can change if you don't like it going automatically off, but usually you want to go automatically off if you're taking damage. So that's what my recommendation is. As for the streamer mode, that's self-explanatory. If you're a streamer, maybe you want that, but most of the time you probably don't want that. Only other thing, performance display on, club invites disabled. Now as for subtitles, we have these all off. Everything should just be off here. But if you're looking for a colorblind mode that actually kind of helps you see, and this helps your visibility quite a lot, try this one. If not though, just keep it on default, unless if you are actually colorblind and need one of these other ones, I would just keep it on off, which is default, or come all the way to the right. Now we're gonna go over the video settings. So we wanna obviously have 16.9 most likely. Then a 1920 by 1080. If you're on a low end PC, I recommend you go 1610. This is going to help your frames out a lot. It's going to bring a little bit of blur in, but your frame rate will go highly, highly up. As for low end PCs, mostly that's my biggest recommendation. If you're on a high end PC, it's totally worth losing the frames to have that clear 1920 by 1080 gameplay. Brightness, I always want this to be a little bit up. It doesn't have to be that much, but I would just test this for yourself depending on your computer screen. I like it usually just a little bit up further than 50, but that's up to you. Just have it a little bit higher 
higher is what my recommendation is. Now for field of view. Now 110 is pretty standard here, but I actually like to bring it down a little bit. And a lot of people recommend 104 and I find that works just fine. And it also is going to help out your frame rate a little bit when there's less on the screen, there's less frames to show or less stuff to show. So the frame rate will go up sprint view shake. We want this at minimal V sync. We want this all the way disabled NVIDIA reflex. If you have this on, put it on the normal. If you have a NVIDIA card, a target frame rate, if you put it at 60, your frames will lock at 60 and not go any above that or under that unless the frames do drop anti-aliasing you want this off and then pretty much everything else should be either off or very low here is probably a good option for most people with a decent computer even a somewhat decent computer just have this at very low texture filtering i would put this on bilinear this is the fastest of them all ambient occlusion quality i would have this at disabled as well and then these all should just be at low disabled for shadows not you don't want shadow detail you don't need anything with shadows so turn off shadows you'll still be able to see the main shadows but you don't need chiseled shadows as i always say you don't need those shadows that are that realistic they actually don't really help you and they really take a hit on your frame rate lighting dynamic spot shadows off off model detail this is one that i would keep on medium if you have a good graphics card to want that better visibility that's the only thing i would keep on medium out of this whole list but for most just keep it on low otherwise your gpu load is going to be crazy but if you are for some reason ever cpu locked instead of gpu locked turn that one up to medium as for everything else low disabled basically just turning everything on low some games i would say visibility is really affected but in this game this game's pretty saturated and visibility is not very hard to achieve even without changing any of these settings if for whatever reason you are having trouble with chiseled corners and stuff of that nature just turn on anti-aliasing and that will help offer more smooth out lines and combine pixels together but in this game particularly some shooters i would recommend having anti-aliasing on but in this one i would have it off so the only things that we could potentially have on texture streaming budget very low and model quality at medium those are the only two things i would change here as for this this is up to you but having a lower field of view is actually going to help your frames out but it, you also will be able to see a little bit less you could test this for yourself but 110 to 104 is not big of a difference now once you start getting towards the 90s which is actually recommended that's where things really get rough so if you're on a low end pc try the low field of view and and also that 1610 tip I showed you guys. Last thing I would do is turn down your dialogue volume just a little bit. I recommend 60 or 50, but dialogue volume is not that important in this game. So I would keep it just low enough to where you could still hear it because it can be, but down a little bit from its original state. As for your mouse sensitivity, I would probably actually customize this to your likings if you don't want to though. You can always just have that standard setting and I'm not gonna tell you what to do for your per optic ADS sensitivity, but I usually run these ones at a little bit higher rate compared to my 1X, which I usually run just about one down. So 0.9 is usually what I would run there. And then above that, I usually run like a 1.2 to 1.3, depending on the site. Other than that, mouse acceleration, turn this off. Mouse invert, turn this off. Lighting effects, if you want this on, you can have this on. Most hardware, I'm guessing, doesn't have the features for this, but you can just have this off if you want. It's not gonna affect anything, really. It's just lights at the end of the day. So let's go ahead and save your settings, and that is going to be all for your Apex Legends settings. Hopefully, this helped you in any way. Let me know what frame gain you got. Hopefully, you got some frame gain, considering we did optimize a lot on your PC. So let me know your before and after on the frame rate. As always, it's been your boy. FPS. Subscribe for more tips to improve your FPS.